hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the inset uh, which is in the polygon action of the z modeler so to access the z modeler i go to the brush and then choose the z modeler here or i can press b z and m then you get the z modeler hover your cursor on the polygon and then hit spacebar or right click to get the uh, menu for the polygon actions select the inset and then you have uh, different options here for the modifiers purpose so if you uh, just check uh, the modifiers we have center and border and then we have uh, the target to the polygroup island just click and drag and you should be able to see i've got this model with some uh, nice uh, you know it's, it's it's just like extruding but not moving out in the normal direction but just scaling down in into the center okay so it's happening to the all faces here as you could see there so if i could generally uh, just enable the border only then then you should be able to see the center faces are deleted only border is kept you can choose uh, the center only where the border is deleted and the center is kept like that so we have uh, these options here okay so insert region and insert each poly is uh, something like okay let me check with the polygon cube here okay and then choose the polygroup island and then insert region when i click and drag you could see the total uh, polygon i mean the total polygroup has been insert as one single object uh, if i choose this to insert each poly then you should be able to see they are separately insert uh, we also have equidistance standard and legacy for that uh, we will go to the sphere again and then uh, we would uh, scale it uh, let me just choose the, this to insert each poly then you should be able to see the thickness of this uh, border is uh, uh, you know different and uh, let me just choose this to standard and the thickness is uh, trying to be um, you, you know uniform okay so you have the legacy also where you could generally see the way this distance is working while you're dragging if you hold shift then you get uh, uh, this uh, effect here okay this is a bit weird but yeah uh, if you press alt while you are doing this you can cycle between the polygroups here okay we have no size limit where when you just scale it, it it generally scales up as much as you know big which is generally penetrating the mesh like that uh, if i say default size limit it will just scale down and then it stops at a particular point and uh, you have the size limit option here where you could generally set a size and then when you scale it it stops at that size and it doesn't go beyond that size okay so let's check the equidistance feature here. So I've got this model. I'm going to select uh, these faces here. Okay. And then I'm going to scale these faces here using the inset tool. And then you should be able to see the inset is achieved around uh, this border. Uh, but there is a, a chance of uh, losing the surface topology, the profile of the surface topology. So if I choose the equidistance snap and then just click and drag, ZBrush will try to add some lines and try to maintain the, the, the curvature of the surface. And uh, you can limit that uh, by just controlling this uh, snap value. So if the snap value is low, the lines are added. But if you put the snap value higher, you can avoid adding these new lines uh, in the surface topology. By default, uh, equidistant snap will be on and it will add these uh, lines uh, for the purpose of maintaining that topology profile. But if you feel that you don't want them, then go to the custom profile and then increase those values. And then you won't get that additional lines which were created during the inset.